everyone. I'm Susan Mulvihill and welcome back to my garden. Today I'm sitting in the middle of our wild and woolly winter squash and pumpkin patch. I want to show you some really cool heirloom varieties that I'm growing this year. I'm very excited about them. And then I also want to give you a tip on something that's very important to do right now so that they'll all ripen before the frost. The two curvy squash in this photo are Lofthouse Landrace Moscata, which is an heirloom butternut squash. I've had trouble growing regular butternut squash in the past, probably due to our short seasons. This variety is supposed to produce full-size squash in northern climates. I can't wait to see how they do. They are about 14 inches each, which is impressive. This one is another heirloom called Sweet Meat Oregon Homestead. I've grown regular sweet meat squash for years and they are excellent, but this one is supposed to be more vigorous, sweeter, and longer storing. Sounds good to me. This last heirloom is Candy Stick Dessert Delicata. It's known for being very sweet and having a smooth texture when baked. I can't wait to try it. The seeds for each of these three winter squash came from Fertile Valley Seeds. This is a mail order seed company based in Corvallis, Oregon. I'm also growing Blue Ballet Hubbard squash, which is actually a hybrid, so I won't be able to save seeds from it, but I bought it because it doesn't need as long of a growing season as the regular Hubbard squash, plus it won't get so large. And last but not least, I always grow New England sugar pumpkins. There's nothing finer than a pumpkin pie made from your very own pumpkins. Believe it or not, this is a pathway and I need to be able to get through here. But what's more important is I have all of these wonderful squash on the vines and I want them to ripen before the frost comes. I don't need it to bloom anymore. I don't need it to set little squash because they'll never make it by the end of the season. So I just follow the vine back to a squash, snip the vine and get it out of the way. You have to be careful when you're trimming your squash vines because you sure don't want to accidentally cut one off with a big squash growing on it, but it's definitely worth your time. The plants will focus on ripening up the squash. Happy gardening! Mm -hmm.